More news coming in. Our doctors have been very critical of the statement that has been made by TMC MP Abhishek Banerjee. Criticize him of spreading fake news is what they say. Remember, Abhishek Banerjee claimed that a patient had died while waiting for receiving medical treatment at the Arjikar Medical Hospital. The doctors say this is fake news. They've also demanded Abhishek's apology, saying that this is being done to weaken the star. BJP, of course, has gone after the TMC, calling Mamata Banerjee evil. Rithik Mondal back with us for more details on that story. Rithik, uh, give us a sense of what exactly had Abhishek Banerjee said and what really was the case of this patient, the 28-year-old who had allegedly died. Well, it is not about Abhishek Banerjee only. What we do see that uh, TMC is trying to uh, say that the entire health system of the facility is being affected due to this month-long protest being, uh, being going on by the junior doctors across the state. And uh, with regard to this particular case, Abhishek Banerjee and uh, TMC uh, are, uh, are also you know, uh, coming down heavily on the protesters and stating this is the fall out of this uh, this uh, protest uh, which uh, which claim one life but uh, we you have doctors on the other hand now they said that uh, this death is not due to that uh, protest and they continue to say that uh, the entire facility at the government run hospital across the state and the city are absolutely normal junior doctors and other senior doctors are also uh, performing their duties even they claim that uh, uh, they are uh, they are carrying out several uh, you know uh, 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 several camp health camps uh, across the city uh, where junior doctors are treating patients uh, for a uh, whole day and uh, so, which is why it's a huge setback for the Abhishek Banerjee and they demand for an explanation uh, from the Abhishek Banerjee why they, they claim that it, this is misleading information being spread by the by Abhishek Banerjee and uh, Trumul Congress party. Uh, so we do understand that under this situation when uh, doctors are, uh, have decided to continue their protests and it's a new slugfest flux, between TMC and protesting doctors. Uh, so whether it would, it would be uh, interesting to say, however, that what reaction it would get from the uh, Trumul Congress uh, after do uh, doctors uh, demanded for a justification uh, over Abhishek Banerjee's comment. Back to you. All right. Okay, I'm going to thank you, Rithi, getting in those details. Now, staying with Bengal, this is a story they were reporting on from Kolkata. Now, TMC facing more trouble with Jawahar Sirkar. Rat Sabha MP from the TMC putting down his papers as the Rat Sabha MP, saying that he was upset over the government's handling of the situation. He also tried approaching the government about the handling of the Arjikar rape and horror, but he is upset and that he cannot continue with the, with the Trinamool Congress. He says these incidents over the past few days have shaken Bengal. Take a look at this report. Trinamool Congress is facing rising internal dissent. Amid massive anger over Kolkata's doctor's rape and murder at the Arjikar Hospital, Trinamool Congress's Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament, Jawahar Sarkar, has resigned in protest over Mamata government's inaction in the horrifying crime. In a scathing letter to Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, Sarkar, who is also a former CEO of the government broadcaster Prasar Bharati, slammed Mamata Banerjee for not intervening in the doctor's protest. In his resignation letter, he criticized the state government's delayed and insufficient punitive actions, noting that public outrage against Trinamool Congress is growing. Additionally, Sarkar called out rampant corruption within its own party, accusing local TMC leaders of accumulating wealth without accountability. In many states, we did not name them, them but we know that State after state, political party after political party, mm -hmm. MPs, MLAs are all accused of being totally corrupt. This disease has caught on in Bengal and Bengal is not in a position to accept it. So please try to understand that the people of Bengal have been brought up in a different culture and they are unable to stomach the amount of corruption they see all around. TMC is taken aback by the sudden rebellion and has been on the back foot. 
और उनका जो कंटेंट है उसका कई जगह पे हम लोग भी सहमत है लेकिन हम लोग का स्टैंड है इस टाइम में हम लोग पार्टी में रहकर दीदी के अंडर में अभिषेक में के अंडर में ये ये लड़ाई हम लोगों का भी लड़ाई है The BJP seized upon this internal blow to the TMC and accused West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee and Kolkata Police Commissioner of allegedly destroying evidence linked to the RJ Kaur case. The Bharatiya Janata Party also demanded the release of call records and even suggested a polygraph test for both to ensure transparency in the investigation. If you look, if you go through the resignation letter of uh, Mr. Jahan Sarkar. Uh, you uh, you will be know that you, uh, that uh, you will be knowing that uh, uh, he has resigned by uh, uh, by giving the reason uh, behind this resignation. Uh, one of them are the this uh, corruption and uh, as well as the uh, mishandle of RJ Kar incident. I we feel that this RJ Kar incident is nothing but it is a uh, cover up uh, of uh, they have tried to cover up the whole uh, corruption. that is running in the system of the health ministry meanwhile the polygraph test of the primary accused in the case sanjay roy has added new layers to the investigation interestingly during the test sanjay roy denied any involvement in the rape and murder maintaining his innocence according to roy he fled after discovering the body of the victim lying in the hospital seminar hall Will the primary accused sensational claim add more twist to the rape and murder investigation? Bureau report.